This can has so much to talk about. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can't wait to talk about it. It does. It's like <laughs> this might be the best can I've had. Ten out of ten yeah. can. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, hopefully the beer's close. Mm-hmm. And cold. You good? Yeah, I think so. All right, well, we're back with the Poor Choices Show, episode 26. I am your host, Chris, my co-host, David, with me. And to Charlize Theron, Sidney Crosby, Mike Trout, DeMar DeRozan, and Tobin Bell. Happy, Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Let's make some Poor Choices. Pretty cool. That's not one. <laughs> <sighs> Fuck. Subscribe. I'll have to start playing the intro while we're pouring beers. Mm, the fridge keeps can, pretty cold. I can add it to the that's the point, right? No, that was also the intro. Uh <laughs> You didn't, uh, <laughs> so do you know who Tobin Bell is? Tobin Bell. It, I feel like I do need a hint. Give me a hint. Okay. I want to play a game. He's what's that guy's name? Cheesecake. Chainsaw. <laughs> what's his name? <laughs> Buzz tooth, <laughs> jigsaw, <laughs> jigsaw. Hey, there you go. <laughs> you ready for some fast money? <laughs> oh fuck, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the game. Let's let's do that again. <laughs> okay. I want to play. <laughs> you ready for some fast money? I'm so ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, however many seconds on the clock, uh, just do do it as fast as you can, and and that should be good. All right. What is the most stressful thing in the life of a 25-year-old woman? Uh, work. Name another word for book. Novel. Name something you always have to keep plugged in. Uh, a, a refrigerator. Name a specific issue the Democrats and Republicans never seem to agree on. Ooh, um, gun control. Name an athlete who made the news for being involved in a big scandal. Oh, O.J. Simpson. Ding, 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 ding. I think I did pretty good. You did. I think you did good, too. Uh, yeah. I was a little bit upset when you said something about the fridge keeping the beer cold, because I was like, fuck, that's that's going to make them think of this answer. I'll be honest. I was looking around going, laptop's not good, TV's not a good answer, and I just like <laughs> looked over, and I was like, refrigerator. Frigidator. Yeah. And then it okay. was going to be like washer or dryer. I was going like big appliance. Yeah. Okay. All right. So first we asked you, what is the most stressful thing in the life of a 25-year-old woman? Uh-huh. And you answered work. Work, 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 work. That is number two for 26 points. Okay. Not mad at it. Number one answer was love life. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Then we asked you, name another word for book. Mm-hmm. You answered novel. Mm-hmm. That was the number one answer for 55 points. I'm now trying to think of another name for a book. We have story, mm. paperback, um, pamphlet, mm. Mm. tome, tome, Jim. Uh, there's no H, so I'm, uh, I don't know. Uh, volume and publication. All right, volume I could get. A pamphlet? <laughs> oh, what? It's a I mean, it does... It, Paperback? Uh, That's a type of book. Well, novel's a type of book. Mm, touche. Hmm. <laughs> but number <laughs> no, one to- answer. Tome, so we'll, not we'll, touche. We'll yeah, Tome. <laughs> um, all right, then we asked you, name something you always have to keep plugged in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Refrigerator was not on the list. <laughs> That's crazy. The number, one, the number one answer was TV. Yeah, of course it was. Um, then we had phone, computer, lamp, headphones, and computer mouse. What the fuck? 
Is this a list from like 1998? I was going to say, what's that, a rotary phone? What are they talking about here? Yeah. Re- refrigerator, huh? It's not, no big not, appliance on not, the list. Yeah, just a, yeah. TV I get, but the rest, um, yeah. Okay. 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 All right, then we asked you, name a specific issue the Democrats and Republicans never seem to agree on. What if I told you gun control wasn't on the list? You would drink? I would drink, too. Oh, God damn it, sour. Oh. Woo. Not on the list. Number one answer is immigration. And then we had abortion, okay. gay okay. marriage, okay, taxes, mm-hmm. who should be president. <laughs> um, I think that's a blaringly <laughs> obvious one. <laughs> Budget, environment, and education. Okay. All right, so okay. we're at, uh, I think, 81, I right? Re- really good. Yeah, I didn't look at the answers before I pasted it. Huh. I think if Steve was here, I'd be doing better. Well, I don't think they asked Steve. Whoever they surveyed, it, it, they went to they went to like a retirement home or something. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Well, we're at we're at eighty one mm-hmm. on the last Come question, on. and Come we on. asked you name an athlete who made the news for being involved in a big scandal. I'd argue he's one of the biggest. The number one answer was Lance Armstrong. Yeah. Okay. Number, that was for 24 points. The number two answer was Tiger Woods for 23 points. Come on. And the number three answer for 22 points was OJ Simpson. Woo! We, we did it. it at 103. Okay, with missing, <laughs> missing two. Missing two entirely. That's wild. Wow. Uh, the other ones were Barry Bonds, Mike Tyson. Yeah. yeah. Um, Colin Kaepernick's on here, but... It wasn't really a scandal. No, no Pete Rose? No, there's a Oscar Pistorius and Michael Vick. Oh, Oscar was the dude from Australia that killed his wife, right? I don't know. Yeah, something like that. He murdered somebody. I haven't seen him in Lost yet, so I'm not sure. No Aaron Hernandez on there? Uh, n- no. Oh. Is it a scandal if you eat yourself? Well, yeah. Or you mean before that? Uh, maybe which before. Led to the, the yeah, 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 yeah. Arrested right. and all that, right? Hmm. Well, good job. I'm proud of you. Thanks, thanks. I was uh, expecting higher, but we still hit the goal, so that's good. I was too. I was yeah. too. Mm-hmm. I would have said fridge. Um, what was the other one you get? Gun control. The first thing that came mm-hmm. to mind was abortion. Yeah, that's a good one. I actually just completely drew a blank when you asked that. I was like, uh, 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 I thought you were gonna say I actually just had an abortion. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking, speaking of abortion, it's not, not, not like, wow. Yeah. Well, it's funny because this was on my, like, if we have time to get to a thing, just like a random, random thought I had. Um, yeah. I think it was, I had to be driving to work because I was like, man, I don't want to do this anymore. And start thinking of like money making ideas. And mm-hmm. I thought, have you ever, have you ever donated sperm? No. Uh, I've neither. done a lot of blood and plasm or plasma. You have done plasma? Yeah. Back to, uh, Buy beer in college. I heard get that. like 50 bucks if, a week, give or take. I don't know Maybe if I more. heard it's painful or if I heard it takes a while. It takes a while. The blood's okay. easy because they just take it, have a good day, but the plasma, yeah. they got to run through and then they put the blood back in. It's just a big cycle. Do they even pay you for blood or are you just being nice? Um, They did in Huntington, West Virginia. I think it was like 30 bucks I got. Hmm. Okay, and so would you ever oh. donate sperm i don't think so no uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't want to be like uh like just for uh, money yeah yeah i'm not not like you ever, you ever see that netflix documentary that dude that was like i'm gonna like father a million people yeah there was um it might have been was it the doctor there's a movie fuck it was a Vin- yeah doc um, vince vaughn and yeah, he, yeah. Like, no, I was, that's what I was going to ask you. You want to be like that, but the documentary, I think it was like a doctor. Oh, who? who would yeah, like, he he replaced everybody's samples with his own. with his. Yeah. Uh huh. Shit I was did wild. See that. Yeah, it's kind of scary. Yeah. yeah, like so, like delivery man. You wouldn't just nah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. How, how much do you get for? What's that? your guess? Um, 
It's got to be enough to make people want to do it, but not so much <clears throat> that there's not more people doing it. I'm gonna say, f I'm gonna say between like three and five hundred bucks. It is only a hundred to one hundred and fifty per donation, depending on the sperm bank. Okay. And the number of number of vials that can be filled from each donation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Did you get paid by the ounce or by the gram or? Oh, so you get part payment at time of donation, and then you get the rest once the sample is released. Mm. I was going to say once they turn 18 and they have a clean record. Oh, but you can also earn additional compensation for referring friends. <laughs> that's like a sperm referral bonus. Okay. That's like a hell of an employment bonus. They give you a 401k too? <laughs> I'm just imagining that text from your buddy like, hey man, what are you doing? <laughs> Nothing, man. What are you doing? Will you click this link and then uh, on, Fill on out Friday this. at 2 o'clock, you think you can go down here and just, you know, crank one out real quick? They'll give me an extra 50 and I'll yeah. buy drinks all night. All right, man. Yeah. <laughs> all I got to do is jerk off and I get free drinks? <laughs> hmm. I've never... No. It's never been a... You ever mm. thought about it? Nope. Hmm. <laughs> That's... <laughs> That's funny because what I had below that, and this has been like copy and pasted from like probably eight episodes ago of just like if we get time, it's a, it's what's something everyone should try once. <laughs> just oh, donating just, sperm. I mean, yeah, uh, uh, I, I don't think I will. Yeah. You never know, though. I might get into some, you know, hairy situations and I need a hundred bucks fast. I wonder if it's like like tattoos, like. Like, you're not allowed to get a tattoo drunk, right? Uh, yeah, because your blood's thin, something like yeah. that. Yeah. I wonder if, like, you're not allowed to donate sperm if you're drunk. I could, maybe. Might, I don't know if that would affect the specimen. Yeah, I don't know. It hmm. might affect the uh, attempt to get the specimen out. Yeah. You'd definitely be making less per hour at that point. Yeah. <laughs> so... Speaking of also driving to work, well, I guess I was coming back from work, um, and I take the highway coming home, and I was in the middle lane, um, probably doing like 75, just kind of cruising, nothing crazy, um, and there was this, this horse trailer, maybe, maybe like three or four car lanes in front of me, um, and I'm just cruising, he's cruising, and all of a sudden, like all, I see all this like dust and debris and like hay and shit like flying out the back, so I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to get over, so I got over. Um, and he was slowing down cause we were kind of going on an incline and I kept going and it starts hitting my windshield and like the side of my car. And as I got closer, I realized it's not hay and dirt and shit. It was the back of this trailer was open. Like it just, just bars basically like it wasn't an enclosed horse trailer. Okay. And at the very back was a cow just shitting and pissing everywhere <laughs> at 70 miles an hour. And it wasn't like it just dropped straight down onto the floor of the trailer and just sits there. No, <laughs> this cow's like exploding it out of himself and the wind's catching it and just covering the side of my car and piss and shit. Just yours? or <sighs> were you, There were wasn't many. There wasn't many people around me. It was like probably 8, 830, like something's going down. There was not a lot of people on the highway. And I was like, what the fuck? And like this whole side of my car. So I just drove past my house, went straight to the car wash. So at what point did you realize that it when was I was shit? like, were you when like I was basically right behind, up on it, right up on it. And I saw it coming out and dumping out of the cow because at first it was just like a little bits of stuff flying. I was yeah, like, All right, yeah. let, me, let me get over. And as I got closer, the cow obviously was releasing more. But it wasn't just like he was like peeing this little stream and pooping these little poops. It was like like dumping a bucket. It was just like, blah. and then the wind would just take it and just spread it all over my car. It was not the end of the night I wanted. I can tell you that. Uh, that's great. Mm. I think it's why you just drove right right past the house and you're like, yeah, fuck, fuck every yeah, part of this. Going straight. Like, I like just like looking at my window, I could just see the splatter. I was like, okay. Was it like happening in slow motion? Just like. Well, once I realized it, I was like, I, I can't do anything. I tried a little bit to like just go onto the shoulder. Like as yeah, at that point the damn it, the damage it, is done. Like, what are you gonna? It do? had already happened. I was just, I just was defeated and yeah. Mm. And it hasn't rained since either. I was like, maybe it'll just rain on my way. When home. did this happen? Two nights ago. It's Monday night. Did, 
It's rain. I don't yeah. know if you can hear the thunder. It's rained every fucking day for like three weeks over here. Really? Now yeah. we 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 get the typical between one and five p.m. thunderstorm, and then that's about it. Yeah. Yeah, it's been. And There's on top a, of that, um, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, oh. as a, on, on, t- <laughs> on top of that, uh, almost as often as it's been raining, I've had to clean up either dog piss or shit every single day. Inside the house? Yeah. I don't know if it's, I think Weeble's got fucking something wrong with him. Uh, he's on antibiotics now. Uh, I, it could be Jolene, too, because she's fucking scared of the storms every single day. Mm. Um, Zelda like won't go outside now because I, I think because it's been raining so much that the ground is like so saturated that she's like I don't even want to walk on that shit <laughs> so it's like like literally I was l- late getting on today because I went downstairs and a Weeble's big fucking turd pile on the oh floor. it's not even like diarrhea it's just like a no it's just they're like eh, I, just, I wasn't let out or I gotta go and I don't want to well he doesn't let you know he's gotta go out anyway but it's just, really? Every, I feel like every time I watched him, he'd stand by the door and give you that. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm over it. At least the other dogs didn't like. Oh, look. Protein. So I walk downstairs and Zelda's standing right in front of it. And she goes, uh-huh. shit. <laughs> yeah, she goes, can you come back in like five minutes? Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's been that's been my last I can just couple picture weeks. her just going. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Jesus Christ. Well, let, why don't we get off this shit and piss topic yeah. here and uh I'm tired of talking shit. What do you want to get into? Um, well, uh I spoke to you before we started recording about new things, things that I'm using that are new. Mm, mm-hmm. Uh not the shirt, but I feel like we should start pitching like go like our shit and I don't know. Maybe we'll wait till we get more subscribers to, yeah, yeah, like do merch stuff. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like we should at least start telling people to subscribe. Subscribe. You can put that at like the very beginning or the very end. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like. It. I like it. So, in addition to this cool shirt, mm-hmm. let's see it. I want. You to make poor choices, Uncle Sam pointing at me. I don't want to turn around, but okay. I'll post a picture at the back. Um, let me fuck this thing all up again. Uh, I don't know how I came across it, but somehow I, I came across uh, some... Or I don't know if I came across it or it was just a thought in my mind about like fake shit, specifically a fake microphone. And I was like, hmm. So I went to Reddit, and I was like, how do I tell if my sure microphone's fake? And the first thing said, uh, like if you go to Sure's website and you try to register your product, you type in the serial number. If it doesn't come up automatically, like the model and everything, it's probably fake. And then mm. someone else was like, well, not necessarily, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, hmm, okay. So I tried it anyway. It didn't pop up. It doesn't sound like, fake. I mean, you have good quality. Huh. Well, we'll get there. Mm. So then I went to YouTube. And I was like, how do I tell if my microphone's fake? Mm-hmm. And it was like, um, because like the, the packaging's identical, the inserts are identical, everything's identical. Right. And it had a couple things and it was like, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's fake. And this doesn't necessarily mean it's fake. So the okay. one thing said, unscrew the back and <clears throat> you pulled the wires out. Or no, no, I think it was unscrew the top. And it said, when you pull it out, if there's two green wires, it's fake. And if there's a green and a yellow wire, it's real. So I was okay. like, okay, unscrewed it, two green wires. Oh, shit. And I was like, huh. You bought it okay. used, right? No, I bought it new on eBay for like half right. price. Right, 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 right. So I reached out like, what's today? Wednesday? Yeah. Uh, like Sunday or Monday to the seller. And obviously it was like sold out and uh-huh. they have like no more listings. And I'm like, uh, I've come to learn that my microphone's fake and would like my money back. Uh-huh. And they responded saying, uh, like, we can't find your, or like, what's your order number or something right. like that. So I sent it to him. It was like, we still can't find your order. Send us a, a, a screenshot of the order. 
order confirmation thing. Yeah. yeah. So before we hopped on here, a screenshot sent it to him. So I was like, well, fuck that. I'm not going to use because I feel like I already fucked it up, like unscrewing the top because when I put it back on, it was like. Mm. So I ended up upgrading because I had enough Amazon points to. Oh, like on your Amazon card? Yeah. Okay. To pay the same amount for this one oh, that so I would have paid for the old one. So that's a new same one. No, Real this one. is the this is the new better one. Okay. Okay. So, um, so yeah, <laughs> there's that. I can probably actually hold on. Let me for shits and giggles. We'll do a uh, some story time here, or some uh, watch and learn, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. So yeah, they said to undo this, right? And then there's the two green wires. Uh huh. Uh huh. That that it said that's like telltale. It's fake. So, I figured it sounds good enough to use for whatever. Well, I was going to say, I can't really tell. I don't know if I can tell a difference right now. Like with this one compared to the old one. I'd have to have yeah. a side-by-side. I did a a quick like recording through Logic when it, cause it got here yesterday. And it sounded like it sounded better. But yeah. it was like... 10 seconds and you fucking Zoe was in the background like yeah 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 and I was like okay okay <laughs> so we'll find out but uh okay so yeah I got I got got anybody looking to buy some uh deals on eBay beware and uh with that I wanted to see if you can guess the top 9 most counterfeited products according to USA today mm and okay. just so it's like it's not specific it's like categories. i was gonna say like one of them would have been like clothing yes or, or so apparel. Appar- apparel and accessories is number four and these numbers are from msrp of i think like seized goods or something like that okay yeah so apparel and accessories is number four at 116 million dollars damn Need to start making some fix shit and selling it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you ain't kidding. Um. Okay. So apparel and accessories, meaning also like purses and belts, any anything that you wear. Um. Not purses. Okay. So I was purses then. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, handbags and wallets is number one at seven hundred million. I yeah. You see all those a lot of you know the street vendors. Here's some Louis Vuitton or some Gucci for twenty bucks. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's like when I was when I was deployed. There was, uh, well, this will get one away, I guess. But <laughs> is it sunglasses? No, no, no. Uh, okay. I, they had a, like they used to have like the uh, the the Kuwaiti markets come onto base, and you can go like buy like you knew what you were getting was yeah not what mm-hmm. it was supposed to be. Mm-hmm. But um, they had like like Beats by Ahmed. <laughs> <laughs> like I like it. I like it. Uh, well, I I was already going to say electronics. Uh, electronics is number three. Consumer electronics and parts at one hundred and forty five point nine million. Um, I'm going to go with um, like DVDs, movies. Yeah, optical media is number nine at twenty six point eight million. Is that going to include music? Yes, CDs, okay. DVDs, computer okay. software, things like that. Okay. Um, how about appliances? No appliances. No appliances. Okay. Mm, what else would you fake? Is there something very obvious that I'm missing here? Um, there's. I feel like one pretty obvious. One you could probably get pretty easily. Yeah. Okay. Think about uh think about going to like the Afghan market. <laughs> what is like what is like every third uh, my every, every Saturday at the every, Afghan market. Every what does every third stand have that they're trying to sell you? Uh a camel? No. No. Here, my um, friend, why don't you buy these oh jewelry? There you go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jewelry and watches is number two at 502.8 million. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, so you got one, two, three, four. You need five, six, seven, and eight. Eight you're not going to get, I don't think. It's uh, yeah. labels and tags. I think uh, four, those other fake things. Gotcha. Like a like a fake Gucci tag uh-huh. for the fake Gucci belt. Uh-huh. How about money? Um, no, not money. money. No. No. Hmm. There's some kind of equipment. I'm trying to think like um Well, I'll give you this one because you're probably not thinking it because of the other one, but computers and accessories are 47.7 million. Oh That's yeah. Seven. I figured that'd be under electronics. Yeah. yeah. So there's just 5 and 6. Uh mm. Think about things you fake. wear. Fake, 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 fake. So you already said no to sunglasses. Mm hmm. Um, we've already done clothing and accessories. We've done jewelry. What else would you yes. wear? Is it jewelry related? No. no, 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 no. Okay. Um, I would wear something you wear every day. You sure? Yep. Unless you're off. And you don't leave the house. Uh, shoes. There you uh, go. That's not an accessory or clothing? Apparently not. They have okay. footwear at number six for 54.9 million. Mm, okay. I don't like how these categories are all split up. My Interesting. Apologies. That's all right. No, I don't think you made the list. And the last one I don't think you'll get because I was kind of surprised is pharmaceuticals number five at 79.6 million it's a little scary yeah I don't know what all's classified under that I don't know if it's like maybe like roofies too like knockoff I don't, I don't know yeah and probably a lot of it in unregulated areas you know countries that are yeah. just kind of like here's a painkiller yeah mm-hmm. yeah so, yep. Interesting. I got got. I was, uh, I guess I'm officially a statistic. <laughs> so there's that. Yeah. <laughs> there's yeah, that. yeah. Yeah. That's one way of putting it. Um, yeah. Or another way is now you know for sure, plus you upgraded your microphone. So you're, you're doing better than you were. And yeah. you didn't have to spend any money on it. Well, up front I did. I still haven't got my money back. I figured I'll, I'll try mm. to get them to refund me. If they don't, I'll go to eBay, and if they don't, I'm just going to dispute the charge because mm-hmm. it's goods goods not received. Yep. Or received as False. intended. Yes. All those yeah. things. Yeah. Uh, I, it had to be around, like, 4th of July, and I was like, what would be cool? So I went to, like, chat GPT, and, and, and I, What's I cool? went to Google. No, I went to Google, and I got a picture of Stone Cold, like, smashing beers together. And I pasted it to ChatGPT, and I said, recreate this image with Uncle Sam. Mm. <laughs> and then it gave me, like, something that wasn't really that great. And so I was like, um, make him pouring the beer into his mouth. I mean, it still would have been cool if it was just Stone Cold. <laughs> yeah, he's a... Uh, Copyrighted? He's, yeah. Uncle Every time Sam's I try to not? do, like... No, he's not a real oh. thing. I guess. Yeah, but, well, I say real thing, but uh, every time I try to get it to do something Harry Potter, it's like, we're not allowed to do that. Uh huh. Like, you fucking pansies. I was having a lot of fun with that, um, that meta one. Yeah. <laughs> I did one that was like, oh man, I should I don't, I don't think I saved it. It was like, do me as an athlete. And it, it should like, still be in there. Oh, I'll, I'll pull, I'll have to pull it up then. And it's like, I'm like all ripped and like, like, oh, damn, hell yeah. And then I look up, and it's like I have this, like, sports bra on. <laughs> Even though, like, I'm <laughs> You play in the lingerie football league? Physically, obviously, it's a guy. But for some yeah. reason, they put, like, this. And then it goes around the back, and now I'm, I don't know, man. I was like, hmm. all right, well, we're just going to we're gonna close this app. <laughs> I was trying to make another T-shirt design. Like, I think I put, like, imagine, I don't know if it was me or, like, a, like two wizards, one from Gryffindor, one from Slytherin, like, partying and drinking beer and it made them both like 80 <laughs> i was like okay recreate this image but make them both in their mid 30s and then they looked like 60 <laughs> i was like i'm not fucking i'm not doing this shit i'm not typing in kids i'll be, drinking I'll be here beer. all day <laughs> yeah 
So it's funny because I never like specified Slytherin or anything. It just started making. Yeah, it and great. it did that. Yeah, I, I was like, it, what? Because after after you sent that, and I was like, he probably just typed exactly what I said to. Type, I did, and it did that, and then I was like, I didn't do it either, and it made me Gryffindor. Red. Yeah, that was very. It knows bizarre. Yeah, they're they're listening. They know. Mm-hmm. They know. Meta's like. Your boy Mark's like, yeah, we uh we remember when you did that that house, which house am I uh thing on, yeah. on whatever site six uh-huh. years ago. Yeah, it's a little scary because I was I think only one of them came back as like it was like black or it was like a normal black robe. Like and you the were rest, black? No, oh, just, the robe just like black. the robe was black and everything else <laughs> yeah, was green. And I was like, Dean how, Thomas over here. How did it make me? Yeah, I don't know, dude. That's wild. <laughs> Scared me. So I I put in my notes just to make sure I talked about it. I put poop highway <laughs> for my car. <laughs> poop highway. I like it. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> it wasn't. Well, that that wasn't your that wasn't your only highway escapade, right? What do you mean? What else I do? On um, highway? you didn't do anything. You witnessed something, or not a highway? I guess I mean, it's probably classified as a highway. With poop? No, with death, I thought. Dude, this was like less than 24 hours ago. Oh, the crash? Yeah. No, so when I was driving to work, it was on the northbound side. I was going southbound, and it was down to one lane they had it, and the tractor trailer was still there with the car all crunched up below it and like a bajillion cops and stuff like that. So that's all I saw. I saw it once. Uh, It was like the scene, and everyone was doing stuff. Like, Gotcha. I didn't actually see it happen, but it had okay. probably just happened 15, 20 minutes earlier. Did I tell you, um, I think it was, uh, I don't know if it was like right before Zoe was born or right after, if it was like one of her first doctor's appointments, or maybe it was one of Kayla's follow-ups. Either way, I was leaving, I went with her first thing in the morning before work, and I'm leaving the doctor's office to go to work, and I'm sitting at a light. There's like the main the main road this way and the side road that the doctor's office on, you know, coming, what's that perpendicular? Sure. Mm -hmm. We'll go with that. Yeah. Um, And I'm sitting at the light and I see this tractor trailer Mm -hmm. coming and swinging a left, turning in. And there's like a little, I don't even know, like one of those little mini SUVs on the inside lane turning. And I don't know if they got too close to them, but I looked up and all I can see in slow motion is the tractor trailer going, Oh, shit. Yeah, like just watched it tip, bang, shit flying. Well, dust, actual dust, not shit dust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, I'm already like two hours late for work. And before I could like make up my mind, like should I go run over there, there was like eight people running yeah, to it. And I was yeah. like, I'm, at this point, I'm just going to get in the way. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that, dude, it was, that was wild. <laughs> I like, just... Rrr. I just saw this clip of this guy and it's like it's like security camera footage outside a store and he's leaving the store and as he's leaving this car comes out of control speeding he's parked like right in front of the store and it comes right next to him and into the store crashes into the store almost hits him and he's like whoa and he looks and he just gets in his car and drives away (laughs) like dude's just like not my problem I'm I'm out of here I got I got people to see places to be stuff to do (laughs) <laughs> yeah, dinner's in the oven. Right, right. That's like, it. You know. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Let's move into the football. Um, I'm extremely excited about my all-time team, and I think I'm going to be able to get every one I want. So, yeah, before getting into that, uh, I, I looked. I saw a post that had mentioned something, and I was like, what the fuck? And then I Googled it. And the first article that popped up was from, like, April. And I was like, how the fuck did I not know about this? Okay. And it's it was the new onside kick rules. Did you see that? Um, I saw the new kickoff rules. I think yeah. the onside kick rules were mixed in there, and I read it briefly, but I don't exactly recall. Okay. So, yeah, apparently they were announcing, like, April or some shit from whatever I yeah, Googled. But I yeah. just saw the post the other day, and it is the dumbest fucking thing I have ever seen in my life. Well, it does say um, at the bottom of the article, because I think I read that it was like, here's the new kickoff rule plus the new onside kick rule. And it's like, they're experimenting this yeah. year. And if it doesn't work, we're gonna, not going to do it. 
Okay, well, how about we experiment in preseason, and then if it doesn't work, then we say fuck it. Well, go ahead with what it is. I don't. I know the the kickoff one, but I don't recall the onside kick. So, so there's three changes. Um, the first one is onside kicks are illegal before the fourth quarter. Yeah, that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. If you want an yeah, onside I'm, kick, fucking onside kick. Well, we're just we're just getting started. That's like telling a Florida man he can't own a gun. <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. The next the next part of it is the team must be losing to kick an onside kick. That's crazy. And the team must announce intention to kick an onside kick. All right, I'm not watching football this year. Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> That's crazy. Like, it's it defeats ninety nine percent of the purpose of it. It do, I, like why? Who's getting hurt on onside kicks that don't they're they, like, hey, don't they have to vote on this stuff too? This. Like, don't they have to Apparently like majority vote? Yeah, we want to do this. It it's politics, dude. They're probably getting their pockets lined to to vote the way that someone else wants them to vote. I don't see it last, and hopefully it doesn't. And then on and then kickoffs, the kicking team can't start running until the guy catches the ball, correct? But they're closer. They're lined up closer. Yeah, which they're, is they're lined up at. The receiving ends own forty, but they can't move till the guy catches the ball, and then they can book right. it. And then they can book it, right? Which yeah. is, it, I feel like there's going to be like ten times as many returns, if not touchdowns, at least like a significant increase in the yards. Because part of the reason these dudes are able to get down there is because they're already running full speed <laughs> yeah, past the guy. They have, it's it's not like they're running a short distance to get there. Yeah. This is <laughs> going to be like an offensive line and a defensive line, and the defense is trying to get the quarterback. Yeah. And all if you the need quarterback is one escapes little pocket, the pocket, he's gone. Yeah, he's yeah. gone. Yeah. All you got is Matt Stover back there to trip him, you know? It's, <sighs> it's fucking like, what's... I don't mm-hmm. get it, dude. I'm so over it. We shall see. I, w- I wish, like, like the the XFL or whatever that other one is would like I, I just wish all the players would like go to that mm-hmm. agreed I, I still want to watch entertaining football but it's starting to get out of hand yeah it's it's um very out of hand i'd agree yeah but you never know but it's all we have yeah so it's what we gotta watch yeah Sad, sadly sad day sad day in uh go u.s history Speaking of things that are stupid, we have some more how these NFL teams got their names, the NFC West. Boom. We'll start with, it, they're all kind of awful, to be honest with you. Yeah. I'm, I just, I, I feel like we should have saved your division for last because I feel like the Bengals thing is like the coolest thing. Like so far, Oh boy, was just like, hey, cool stove. I Tennessee, like that. I like Tennessee's. I think that's pretty Tennessee's cool. Tennessee's is cool, yeah. Yeah. So it's not that these are, they're bad. Like it. We'll start with the 49ers. Yeah, that's f- after the miners, the gold miners, the 49ers, because yeah. they came over in the 49s, like 1849 like or 19, <laughs> seven, 1749. There's, or, there's only one 40. <laughs> they came over in the 49s. How many 49s? Half of them came over in 1749. I guess it would have to be the then they waited 100 years. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> One of the partners suggested the team be named the 49ers after the Voyagers who had rushed the West for gold. It's the only name the team has ever been affiliated with, and San Francisco is the only city which it has ever resided. Ooh. <laughs> uh, honestly, that's pretty rare, though. It is, yeah. Any idea how the Cardinals got their name? I feel like they moved from somewhere, I would assume. They're from a different location, and that location probably had a bunch of Cardinals in the area. I don't know. State Bird or something like that. Yes. You're about halfway there. Okay. The origin of the Cardinals' name came from founder Chris O'Brien when he received a shipment of faded maroon jerseys that he called Cardinal Red. In 1944, the Cardinals and the Pittsburgh Steelers combined to form Card Pit during the last (laughs) full year of World War II. That original name they got there. (laughs) In 1950, they moved to St. Louis, and it wasn't until 1999 that they settled in Phoenix, Arizona, and became the Arizona Cardinals. Their chirpy Cardinal Bird logo, now represented by the mascot Big Red, was added in 1947 while the team was still up north, where Cardinals are more common, though you can spot them in Arizona. Hmm. So, Yeah, I was close. Yeah. 
It yeah. was because of the jerseys they received, but it was probably like, hey, that works because it's close. There were Cardinals up there. Yeah. yeah. All right. Next, we have the Rams. Any guesses? Hmm. Um. They uh, they're the Rams because uh, that L.A. is a rambunctious city, and Ram is short for rambunctious, and that's where the team started. Okay. Next team, because that's correct. Go ahead. Correct. All right. How about the Seahawks? <laughs> <laughs> the Rams started in Cleveland in 1936. They moved to Los Angeles from 1946 to 1994, then moved to St. Louis in 95 and became the St. Louis Rams. It wasn't until 2016 that they relocated back to California as the Los Angeles Rams. The Rams got their nickname as a result of their general manager, Damon Wetzel, having a favorite football team, the Fordham Rams from Fordham University. Hmm. Where's Fordham? Cleveland, I would assume? Or Ohio? Uh, That's a good question. Let's find out. You're probably on it. I got so many windows and shit here. I don't. Fordham is in the Bronx. Hmm. Hmm. How about that? Well, don't dodge it. Ram it. (laughs) (laughs) I like it. How about the Seahawks? What do you got? Uh, I mean, it's either like Washington's like state bird or they have a lot of ospreys in Seattle because Seahawk like isn't an actual bird. It's like a subcategory for a couple birds that hunt in the sea. The franchise held a name the team contest with over 20,000 entries. Damn. Seahawks was suggested by over 100 entrants with the franchise deciding these fierce predatory seabirds that symbolize aggressiveness were a perfect fit for the team. And Seahawks sounds a lot better than seabirds, well, you know. I hate these like name the team ones. It's like <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh like like something like the the Steelers like, you know, they did it because that's where their fan base worked in the 30s and yeah, like the other ones Edgar are like, Allan Poe wrote the Raven and uh-huh. you know, this dude in like 1912 saw his mom's stove and like the emblem. It's like no, uh we moved and we asked everybody there to vote and this is we what took we got. The most popular one and we took it. Yeah. Like, and I I and you also only know the Osprey thing just cuz our high school mascot was a Seahawk. But Technically is an Osprey. Fun fact. Super fun. Yeah. (laughs) Thankfully. um, Not a real bird. Seahawk. Yes. Well, not thankfully that, but Mm -hmm. you're correct. And thankfully, what we're moving into is a lot better than that. Is your chair one of those like $3,000 awesome office chair things? No, it was like one of those eighty nine ninety nine oh, okay. marked down from like one nineteen ninety nine. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> why? <laughs> it just kind of looked like one that's like uh, I've seen them, and I'm like, why does that cost so much? And I click on it, I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> when I worked at a uh, at Harris, if Andy can attest to this, we looked up how much our like office desk desk chairs were. Yeah, and it was like eighteen hundred bucks a piece. <clears throat> God damn! And there was like. 40 or 50 of them in that office alone. It's like, should take one of them bitches with you. (laughs) (laughs) Oh yeah. I just got to take this out. The repair guys here for the chair. Uh, I'll be right back. (laughs) Speaking of, do you remember when we took that, uh, bar stool for Turner? I was there. Maybe. When did you move down? Um, August, 2017. Did Turner live there when, uh, Hernandez did. Okay. Um, when we stole that, like, <laughs> piece of, like, trim that was, like, s- seven feet long. Allegedly. Oh, yeah, we didn't take that. You talking about uh, Helen Beck? Yeah, I think that's the same day you took, like, the eight ball from there. Allegedly. Yeah. Okay. So, you, Turner's favorite bar was the Salty Duck. Mm-hmm. Good and, bar. Yeah, and he was leaving, going to... Texas for being a tech school instructor Mm -hmm. and me and Hernandez were like, you know, we need to get him something cool for going away. Like, you know, he's one of like the, he's one of the dudes, the the core boys. Yeah. Right. 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 And I don't know if we were, I think we were there one night and we were like, we got to do this. Like not now. Like we got to, you know, strategically, we got to talk about it, think about it, game plan for it. 
So we ended. I get, it was probably the following weekend. We uh, is when I had the Titan. So I pulled the truck around because you know there was like the main door that came in, but then there mm-hmm. was like the other side door over by where like, the parking the lot was. Board. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I brought the Titan over there, and then he got out. I walked around to the main entrance. Right. And I don't know if I was like it was me, me and someone else. I don't remember. And we like caused a scene kind of i don't remember what we did but <laughs> something like, oh yeah, i spilled I my drink oh, i'm so sorry it, it was either that or yeah. like we we were like acting like we were gonna fight each other or That's something like one. that you know yeah. there's only like two bartenders there at a time so yep. Yep. they both came over and hernandez comes through the side door grabs a bar stool and yanks it out the side throws <laughs> it in the back of the truck have a good, good day go. yeah yeah <laughs> and we we're like hey Brought brought it home. We're like, hey Turner, uh, we don't know how you're gonna get this to where you're going, but but we got you. Here this. you go. <laughs> <laughs> so that's probably that's probably the coolest probably the coolest gift I've given, or the most like sentimental, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's funny. I forgot all about that. Well, there you go. Hmm. <laughs> so we're gonna do an all time draft of the NFC West. Oh yeah, we are. Um. I think I'm going to be able to pull off what I want to do. So each one we've done so far, I write like multiple ones down for each yeah, position. Yeah. This one I didn't. and Oh, I did. I think I'm going to be able to do what I want to do. And I, well, think, you're, I, kn- I think you're very misled okay. on where I'm going. Okay. Well, it depends where you go, but I know where I'm going to start. But I okay. think I know where I would go if I was you, but go ahead. Okay. So with my first pick, I'm going to take running back Marshall Falk from mm. the Rams. Okay. Um, I'm going to take wide receiver Jerry Rice from the 49ers, my number one pick. Perfect. I'm going to be able to do exactly what I want to do. <laughs> All right. With my second pick, I'm going to take Jimmy Graham at tight end from the Seahawks. Okay. Okay. Um, with my second pick, that's who I was going to take. <laughs> <laughs> um, and my other tight end I have listed is a 49er. So give me a second. <laughs> uh, you got, you got Jackie Smith and Tyler Higby. Oof. Jackie Smith is the way to go. If you, uh, well, I guess it depends on what your other pick is. Was he a, a Cardinal? Yeah. All right, with my second pick um, (laughs) from the Rams, I'm going to go quarterback Kurt Warner. I like it. I had Kurt on here twice. Yeah, I think either (laughs) would have worked. I mean, he did enough time in Arizona. Yeah, but with my third pick, I'm going to take wide receiver Larry Fitzgerald from the Cardinals. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, With my third pick, I'm going to take... Beast mode, Marshawn Lynch at running back from the Seahawks. Over Sean Alexander. Over Sean. Mm-hmm. If I was building okay. a team, I'd rather have Prime yeah. Marshall over Prime. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. So you're just here so you don't get fined. <laughs> right. And eat, and eat my Skittles and drink my Hennessy. <laughs> All right. Well, with my last pick at quarterback, I'm going to take Mr. Joe Montana of the 49ers. Over Steve, huh? Yeah. I think well, that, four is greater than one. That leaves me with a shitty position with a shitty team to choose from here. Uh, I'm here for you. Wait. Mm. Wait, what? What do you, what do you, what do you got to pick? Tight end from the Cardinals. Uh, it's, it's not a shitty position for a shitty team. Well, I'm not going to go with an all-time great. I'm just going to go with someone who played for the Cardinals and was a tight end, I think. You don't want to go with the great that was... If I had to guess, a Hall of Famer? Never even heard of the dude. Okay. I'm here for you. Since I've never heard of him, with my... Zach Ertz. Third pick. It's between him and one other guy. Uh, Um, Was the other guy at Raven? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I'd go Zach. Yeah. I think in in the 45 minutes Zach's played there, he probably has more... Everything than so, the other guy. Final pick. Number four tight end is going to be Zach Ertz from the Cardinals. Not happy about that pick, but I am happy about the rest of the team for sure. Well, I'm not really happy about Jimmy Graham either, but 
I thought about taking him as my first pick, but yeah. B- between between Jerry Rice, Joe Montana, and Frank Gore, I wasn't going to be like, let me get George Kittle at tight end. Yeah. Oh, he wasn't even on my... I'd rather have Vernon Davis than George Kittle. Uh, well, same, but regardless, um, I'm, I'm not going to take those tight ends over... And you took better Marshall over Eric, huh? Yeah. Yep. If Um, if I'm building a team. All right. So quarterback, we got Kurt Warner. Running back, we got Marshawn Lynch, beast mode. Receiver, we got Jerry Rice. And tight end, we got Zach Ertz. All right. Boom. Quarterback, I had Joe Montana. Running back, Marshall Falk. Wide receiver, Larry Fitz. And tight end, Jimmy Graham. Vote now or forever hold your peace. And subscribe. And subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> if I did that and brought my mic that close, I would knock my monitor off my desk. Hi, everyone. I just wanted to take a second to ask that you all hit those like and subscribe buttons. Or if you're an audio listener, go ahead and give the guys five stars. Thanks for listening. Now back to the Poor Choices show. It's yeah, like I'm like hugging the shit out of this arm here. I ordered a... Uh, so this... Because this, this mic has this uh, like little tube here that the XLR plugs into. Yeah. And this little part here that like rotates is so far down. So I ordered an extension for this, which was supposed to be next day. And then I got a notification at like two that it shipped. And I was like, cool, it might be there in time. And when I got home, I looked and it was like expected by tomorrow. Yeah. Yep. I was Gotta like, love well, that. Fuck all you guys. Mm-hmm. I think Amazon needs to have a uh, like a policy in place that's like if I order something for the sole purpose of, of getting next it next day. like there's there's other options, but I went with this one because it said you're gonna get this tomorrow. If I don't get it tomorrow, I should get something mm-hmm. like half my money back or whatever. But I'd agree with that. Yeah. I mean, because I I can't tell you how many things that I'm like. I want to get this one, but I also want it fast. So yeah. I'm going to get this one instead. And then well, it's like, comes later than expected. I'll tell you, I the other night I ordered um, some DoorDash and it took them fucking forever just to assign somebody to go get it. And it wasn't that far away. It wasn't like super expensive. and I didn't, It wasn't like I didn't tip well. It wasn't anything. It just took them like an hour before they were like, oh, somebody's on their way. So food shows up, and I just went in, and everything I ordered, I was like, food was gold, food was gold, food was gold, food was gold, just to do it. And they're like, yeah, here's 25 bucks. And I was like, okay, thanks. Okay, so that you were happy with that? Oh, yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't yeah. like a $60 order that they were like, no, oh, here's a little bit. No, 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 and the food wasn't cold. I was just like, fuck you, DoorDash. You took that. I was so hungry. I was like, you took that long? Yeah. This food was cold. Yeah. Was it? No, it was great. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. Look, I'm okay. already going to hell as it is. This is yeah. just, this is just like you know cherry on top. Yeah. Nah, nah. This is just like what I do in my downtime. <laughs> <laughs> just bored. Uh, that's uh, that's great. <laughs> DoorDash, if you're watching, um, my not. name's my name's Mark. <laughs> <laughs> we can't even get our friends to watch. You think we get DoorDash watching this? Johnson. Mark I Johnson. Li- I live in um, Springfield, Illinois. Oh. <laughs> uh, you might want to try a different name slash location. <laughs> Wait, who's Mark Johnson from Illinois? Springfield, I googled Illinois. Mark Johnson, Springfield, Illinois, and the first thing that popped popped up was Mark D. Johnson, Johnson Law Group. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm actually Mark, Mark F. Johnson. Founding attorney Mark D. Johnson has a military background and experience as a former prosecutor, making him a well-versed attorney. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> So you now? What? Who are you now? I'm Mark. I'm, I'm Mark F. All right. I'm actually. Um, <laughs> just call. Me. I'm sorry, guys. This is. Uh, my name is Josh Aguero. You're safe. And from I'm where? From Fargo, North Dakota. 
First thing that popped up is an Instagram account. Uh, J Aguero 87. In Fargo? He, in Fargo, North Dakota. He is a third Fuck. degree Gracie Jiu Jitsu black belt. This is getting ridiculous. <laughs> you're not you're not <laughs> safe. All right. Just call me Jamie Lincoln. Jamie say fo- Foxworthy. <laughs> Jamie Jamie Lincoln, and I am just chilling From out. Where? Chilling out here in good old uh uh, I'm just hanging out here in old uh, uh, Sh- Cheyenne, Wyoming. Wyoming is that where that is? Yep. Yeah, I think I think you're safe there. See, that's what I thought. That's what I, you know. Yeah, well, we're 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 good there. First thing that comes up is the Lincoln Cheyenne. It looks like a concert hall or something. Mm, yeah, it was named after my great great grandfather. Yep. Yeah, you should be good there. I think you're. I think you're good. Jamie Lincoln, it is. Jamie Lincoln. The only other Jamie Lincoln that pops up is what looks to be a fourteen to sixteen year old girl. <laughs> um, yeah, I think you're. I think you're safe. We did it. She wears glasses. You don't. Oh, so, well, she's got a, a beard. Kind of sangria or something. Uh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> no, you're safe. So yeah, DoorDash. Uh, don't come after my buddy Jamie Lincoln from Cheyenne, Wyoming. We're good. That's that's a, a fucking law law group. <laughs> it's just a, a random name for, and a random former city prosecutor. Yeah, is crazy of, that it was a law firm. Yeah. Well, <laughs> there you go. That's crazy. That's what you get. That's what DoorDash gets. Give me my give me my money. All right, get my money back. <laughs> All right. Well, I have some some would you rather's. <laughs> would you rather burp or save me time on editing? <laughs> that was a lot more guttural than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> that like Is like guttural I, a word? Guttural? 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 It's like very guttural. Thermogulatory. <laughs> yeah guttural um produced in the throat harsh sounding hmm. although that felt like it came from my balls but still like that came from the, okay. de- the depths interesting well moving on would you rather respawn as your 10 year old self every time you die or every person you kiss is automatically cured from any disease they may have I haven't died before, so I would have to die to respawn as my 10-year-old self. Yeah, so every time, like, you would live a lifetime and then die and then respawn as your 10-year-old self. What if I killed myself just to respawn? Yeah, you could do that. If you're, like, 15 and you're like, ah, I don't like how this is turning out. So, so bam, 10 again. Are you saying, like, that that first life I have the knowledge when I respawn? That yeah, I so have. every everything that has already happened, like everything you experienced, learned, whatever, up to 10 years old, beyond that, you die, you go back to that 10-year-old checkpoint. Or everyone that I kiss, I automatically cured from any disease they may have. I mean, the answer is obviously that one. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Don't fucking lie to me. <laughs> The, my Slytherin is telling don't me a, don't be a people go, pleaser. Go back and make money. <laughs> yeah, you ain't no you ain't no fucking Hufflepuff bitch. But so, my, well, my other side is I'm just going to be going through nursing homes and like so here's, little little towns in Africa just kissing everybody. Let's caveat this: you go back to your ten year old self, but it's not the year 1999. Oh, so it's time, the current year? Time stays. Oh, God, no. Ugh, I would want to grow up in this time. Um, I would you say... Could be a, you, could be a, you could be a fire hydrant if you want. No, I could, just, a, I, just, I could just go to, like, every St. Jude's hospital and just kiss... Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Let's think about this. <laughs> <laughs> I had good intentions. <laughs> oh, man. If you, if you didn't me, like, nurse... <laughs> That would have went way over my head if you didn't. If you didn't pause that one, you'd have been good. Uh, um, now I can think about it as you kissing children. But after I proved that, <laughs> I go to every <laughs> my, my first thought was, "Oh, I can save all the kids." Yeah, well, you got to make out with them. But no, you didn't say that. No, I know. I'm just adding. Uh, <laughs> but 
<laughs> once I proved yeah. myself that I could actually, that's what I, that's what happened. Then they let me do it. I just might get arrested the first time. Would you get a second time? Well, maybe that's I just fell on the. Well, I think not if I don't get caught. Like if there is like a, like. <laughs> well, kid, then you can't prove yourself. Like kid in a coma. And then I imagine you're. And then I record. Imagine it. you're a nurse. You're a nurse walking around John Hopkins. It's like eleven at night. You're just you're finishing up like a sixteen hour shift, and someone comes up to you, and they're like, "Hey, uh, will you let me kiss this kid? I'm. I promise I'll cure them." <laughs> my, li- <laughs> my, li- like, my, like, my lips. How are you gonna, powers. <laughs> how, are you, how are you gonna prove yourself? I think I need to record it happening and then show them the video. Like, look. This person who's been in a coma for this long, and it's me them kissing them, and then they're waking up and like doing a jig, like, "Oh, I'm good, I'm ready to go," and I'm like, "High five, yeah, best friend." And then I go in and kiss the kids. What if they wake up and they're like, "Like, what the fuck? Who the fuck are you? Why are you in my room? What year is it?" I'm the janitor. I'm Mark Johnson <laughs> <laughs> from Springfield. I'm from Illinois. Springfield. Uh, I'm just taking some time away from my law firm. Uh, <laughs> uh, How you okay. doing? So what? What's your? You, you're doing that just because you don't want to? Yeah, I would rather do this over and over. Again. Yeah, if it was go back to me when I was ten in the '90s, I'd do that. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. but. In this day and age, yeah. slash future yeah. day and age, yeah. hard no. Yeah. Okay. I have two more. Okay. Would you rather duplicate each time you sneeze or see how people will die when they kiss your forehead? Well, if you duplicate every time you sneeze, oh, like another one of me? Yeah. Okay. So my first thought was <laughs> what I heard was every time I sneeze, <laughs> it duplicates the sneeze. So I'll never stop sneezing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so the next time I sneeze, I'm done. Like, I'm just, <laughs> you're just, you're it. that's, that's your nine to five. Um, ooh, that could be a little sketchy. Yeah. I'm going to go At with the same time. You could have a lot more time off work because you're, you could go in your place. Yeah. But, a like year later, there's so many 47 things. of me. I thought you told me a couple episodes ago you sneeze like once a year. Times <laughs> a year as a human sneeze. But yeah, now, have, you told me. You were like, dude, no. Nah. What was what was that segment we were talking about? Five times a day or up to 450 times a year. Yeah, normal person. But you told me that you, you never... It, it was when I said, would you rather sneeze i think it was like sneeze and go like five years into the future or sneeze and go like 30 years yeah. into the past no and so you're like dude i never sneeze i don't but it's one of the when i was on vacation for some reason like for two days i would sneeze like 10 times a day so now you're second guessing everything so even if i sneeze like 200 times in a year that's crazy i'd have to start killing them like as soon as i sneeze i just have to have a gun ready yeah, you could do that. Oof. Because you you gonna get you can't get convicted of murder. They're gonna be like, uh, you killed him. Be like, who's him? Uh, you. What's his social? Blah blah blah. Okay, well this is oh, that's mine. So what are you talking about? Yeah, I'm gonna go with the forehead one. Okay. Mm-hmm. If you kill him, you could just take him into those woods um, between Selby and Lock Haven, and just what we talked about last time. Because there's no yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. I'm here for you. I'm just. <laughs> I'm here for you. Uh, are you you going forehead? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, this one, this one was very. Like, I read one and I was like, yeah, definitely that. And then I read the other one and I was like, yeah, definitely that. <laughs> okay. Would you rather never have to wait in line ever again, or never have to do household chores ever again? Meaning. The household chores will do themselves. Yeah, they're or somebody will do just them. Done. Yeah, they're you don't have they're to done. Do yeah. So no, no washing your clothes, no doing the dishes, no dusting, no vacuuming, no this, no that. I'm going with that. I don't wait in, yeah. in a lot of lines. I mean, aside from when I'm at the amusement so park is, or at a like a so this sporting is, event. I think it was the technicals were like any line, so or or like any time you're waiting. So like, say you needed. Like a kidney transplant, 
that would be a line. Okay. But... You don't have to wait for it. <laughs> yeah. That just as an example, like anything you ever have to wait for, like say say like your internet's out, you gotta call the inter- the internet company. You don't have to wait. You're the you're number one. You gotta call anybody. You're number one in the queue. Do I have to wait on you go to the drop- Amazon to deliver packages? Yeah, because I don't think that's a line. Or no, you would. It would be next day, but your first delivery next day. Uh, yeah, I'm going. I'll give with, you that. Nah, yeah. I was trying to find some some loopholes, but I'm still not going with it. No, now I'm going with the clean, no, no chores. Yeah, yeah. You get where I'm at though. Like with the, you're like, man, that would be really good. And then the other one's like, man, that would be really good. Yeah, yeah. And the, the other one was really good until I mentioned kissing kids, and then it wasn't that good. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't. That was. You you did but, that to yourself. But think about it once, or I could just like go for a beeline and just like, just like hit room by room until somebody finally tackles me. But then all of a sudden, all those kids' rooms I visited are cured of their cancer or their whatever they got going on, and they're like, "Wait a minute, okay, maybe this guy's on to something." And then once they realize I am. But at the same time, you still committed adult predatory acts on hundreds of minors. What's it's a like, quick, hey, we get it. What's a but, quick peck to being cancer free? Uh, I guess you got to ask the parents. Well, I'm not going to. I'm just going to run into all the rooms <laughs> <laughs> so I can prove myself and then I'll ask them. Okay. <laughs> Such a weird conversation. <laughs> Not mad at it. Oh yeah, yeah. They might be. I don't. Yeah. Well, uh, I don't know what YouTube's uh, kissing kid policy. Policy. Is. Yeah. Nah, we'll be like, fine. Hey, there. I'm gonna get an email. Hey, we get it, but you talked mm-hmm. about it for 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah. You, you, <laughs> you kept bringing it up. Even if the intentions are good, you can't talk about kissing kids for more than three minutes. So we we tried. We tried. What kind of what kind of dreams have you had lately? You used to um, tell me about your dreams like every day. Yeah. So you'd have like three or four like vivid ones that you would remember. Yeah. Um, and I miss them. No homo. I don't, I'm afraid to say anything now with this fucking YouTube <laughs> show. Like, as long as there's yeah. no kids in your. Uh, oh, you're digging. Um, not digging. It, you slept last night. I can't be digging that, no, that far. But it needs to be. I need to write stuff down in the morning or like take voice memos or something because. The first, like, 30 minutes after I wake up, I'm like, that was crazy. Um, yeah, so that's, like, that's like 10 seconds for me. Like, I wake up, and I'm like, man. But by the time I'm done, my morning piss, dreams, like, I don't remember anything. I thought you were one of those people that remembered it, like, six hours later. You're like, oh, it was, I did this. Like, you could write a book on the shit yeah. you dreamed about. Well, I got woken up at 2.30, and then I think I fell asleep for a couple hours after that. I've been up for a long time. Um just any no, I'm not talking about last night just any memorable not memorable they're mostly just fucking weird and random like super weird and random so I'll keep that in mind moving forward and maybe I can come up with just like the Chris dream just segment just keep like, a yeah keep a keep a journal next to your bed and when you wake up go oh fuck yeah that one's it well I do dream more or at least I remember more dreams when I've been drinking um and I'm also so drinking Every I'm also, Thursday, I'm also wake up. drinking a beer that has lactose in it, and they say that dairy products, if you eat them late at night, will cause you to dream even more. Spicy food, dairy products, um, will kind of cause craziness in your dreams to happen, so to speak. So, hmm. that's why you have fucked up dreams all the time. You're always drinking. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. I can see it now. Next week's dream, Chris's dream segment. I was. <laughs> I was walking around Advent Health. <laughs> there's, a, I was, there's a bunch of sick kids in in the. Uh, and, no, no. I was gonna say. Cancer ward. I was gonna say, and then when I was walking down the hall, um, who's the guy from Saul? What was his name? His actual name? Jigsaw. Or his Saul name? Jigsaw. Yeah, yeah he yeah, comes yeah. around on his tricycle, but his face is actually a cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna say. I thought you were gonna say it's you in the hospital riding uh, around that tricycle and just stopping in every kid's room and getting, getting out and giving them a kiss, ringing the little bell when I get to each room. Ding ding ding. ding. 
I got your popsicles. <laughs> I was a I was a character in Grey's Anatomy, and they were all like doing their drama shit, and I was just going room to room kissing kids. Oh, that's a good one. That's kissing good, kids? No, that's a good segue. <laughs> oh, okay. Into um into my ask Reddit. Okay, let's do it. So, uh, my ask Reddit this week is if um, you had to pick a friend group from any TV show, what TV show friend group would you most want to have? Animated, real life, from the 40s, from the 2000s, it don't matter what it, 40s, I don't know. You know what I mean. Any, <laughs> anything, anything. They're all black and white. I don't want to be black. Whoa, 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 whoa. And white, and white, and white. <laughs> Um, you know, you, you told me this and I, and I didn't think about it because I was cleaning up dog shit. I like how you're like, Hey, warn me on your ass credits. <laughs> yeah. But the first thing I'll, I'll try to think as you're reading them, but the first thing okay. that comes to mind is stranger things. Oh, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Yeah. Like that group of kids. Yeah. Either that or, uh, the ones, nah, I guess I don't want the ones from from it they're a bunch of fucking nerds like i'm a nerd but i'm like i'm not a nerd they got beat up all the time well if you read the book it's even crazier they're a friend yeah, group. yeah and i don't want to yeah 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 i know about that whole okay I don't okay, no. well, okay. Well, yeah. yeah um so the first fucking response nerd. is uh 48 year old man here the a team and it's not even close typical uh I mean, golden girls year old man he'll probably say something about mash mm-hmm. sean and gus on psych uh, Parks and Rec, the good pl- they, the good place. I've, I don't think I've ever watched Parks and Rec. Is that a no? good one? It is a f- such a funny show, David. I mean, if you need like okay. just like that like wind down sitcom binge show, go for that. Very good, very good show. Although you're probably still I, really deep and lost right now, I bet. Yeah, I just hit season five. Oh, so you're you have one more season to get disappointed, right? Six seasons. Dude, there's so many fucking episodes. Yeah. It's like so a lot. I'm just <laughs> I can't I'm just believe gonna, you're on season 5 already. Dude, I've been You've been cranking them while and yeah. I'm just going to interject anytime I think of something. Um okay. I thought of It's Always Sunny. So that's on here. Um and a guy says, "Not always sunny. I would not survive that shit." <laughs> I that's dude, that's our friend group. Yeah, and then I also thought of uh, Letter Kenny. That's a good one. I think it's later like, on the list. I feel like I'd fit in. Yeah. Okay. Um, we got Seinfeld. Um, we got Brooklyn Nine Nine. Um, Speaking of Seinfeld, yeah, I'll have to send you this. I saw a picture the other. I think it was Seinfeld. Uh huh. Was it Jerry Seinfeld? <laughs> no, you know what? I think it was Friends. Keep going. Okay. Um, Letter Kenny. They'd always have your back. Um. Star Trek, the next generation, mostly because of the holodeck. I don't know what that means. The fuck is a holodeck? Is that like a Charizard? <laughs> That's holographic. Uh, Scrubs. That's a good one. I don't know if you ever watched Scrubs back in the day. Ooh, ooh. I want to be Black Scrubs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Who was that, um, Peter Griffin? Uh-huh. Buffy. Mm. Uh, Schitt's Creek. Rugrats would be a good one. Rugrats would be good. Ted Lasso would be a good one. Uh, let's see. Friends. Oh, there it is. The kids, or the, the it crowd, so to speak. The it crowd, okay. Well, I don't know what they're into, but. Uh, King of the Hill, Dale, Bill, and Boomhauer. <laughs> That'd be really good. <laughs> I mean, what's going on? That, down, is, man? Just going going down, down, man. that <laughs> is a good one. Cigarettes. <laughs> that is a good one. Um, let's see. There's a lot of shows on here that, yeah. I'm trying to think of what. That 70s show would be good. That'd be a good one. I feel like Family Guy would be a good one, and I'm just trying to think, like, our friend group. I think Brooklyn Nine-Nine would be a good one. Like, Rhodes would be Quagmire, right? No. No. Uh Uh-uh. No. Russell? No, because he's married. Um... It's got to be Rhodes. Didn't Quagmire, like, fuck his dad or something? <laughs> That's something Rose would do. Um, Damn. I'll have to think about it. Mm, okay. 
a few more for you. Nothing, nothing crazy. Team Avatar from The Last Airbender, Will and Grace, um, The Unbreakable, Kimmy Schmidt, Seinfeld, MASH, uh, The League. Oh, The League, there you go. That'd be perfect. Um, oh, I forgot about that. Uh-huh. Trailer Park Boys, Futurama, Workaholics, South Park, nah, Drew, Drew Carey not, Show. Not Futurama for me. Uh, Big Bang Theory. It's a lot of shows I've never heard of. Uh, Stranger Things, there you go. Yeah. Letter Kenny, Little Rascals, Scrubs, Archer. Hey Arnold is a is a good one for me. Yeah, that was actually my first thought when I read this was Hey Arnold. Yeah. Rock of Power would be pretty cool. It's a good friend group. Yeah. It's a good friend group. Fucking squid. Yep. They got sand in the potato salad. <laughs> sand in the potato Fuck. salad? Fucking nerds. Fucking shoobies. Woogity, woogity, woogity. Hmm. Okay. What's so yours? Did you have um, a... I think I'd be between Parks and Recreation or Brooklyn Nine-Nine, I think would be my... Yeah. Actually, actually, I'm going to say Game of Thrones. <laughs> That'd be sweet. <laughs> Specifically, uh, the Starks. Okay. Oh, they're a family, a family, though. Family. They're not friends. Yeah. yeah. All right, so eh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine or Parks and Rec. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Well. Whoa. Easier on my If face. I shake my mouse really fast, the cursor gets huge. <laughs> <laughs> if you shake nice it real fast, you it, named gets, your, uh, it gets big. <laughs> nice, nice to know what you named your hand and your penis. <laughs> My right, mouse and my cursor. <laughs> <laughs> this week, my ask Reddit is, what is the most disturbing fact you know? Okay, and you, so to precursor, you also let me know about this beforehand, but... Correct. I don't. I couldn't think of anything disturbing. I could just think of like a random interesting thing, I guess. Okay. Um, if you didn't know, like if you like shaved a tiger, their skin is also striped. So it's not their fur that's striped, but it's the actual like skin of the tiger that's striped. I don't feel disturbed. I told you it wasn't disturbing. Okay. So mine, <laughs> the one I came up with is on here. So I'll let you know when oh. we get to it. Okay. So the first one is, there was a time when babies were operated on without anesthetics. It was believed that their nervous system wasn't developed enough to feel Damn. pain. Damn. That's disturbing as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the next one is an adult octopus could crawl into your mouth and out of your butt with little to no effort if you <laughs> removed your stomach. <laughs> if, if, <laughs> if, if you removed your stomach acid. <laughs> Did that disturb you a little bit? <laughs> I feel like... Uh, I feel like uh, you just got down with the sickness or you were stupefied. <laughs> <laughs> so this this one's actually the second one that I thought of, um, that the human eye has its own immune system that the body doesn't know about. And if the body ever found out about it, you would go blind. Damn. Did you know that one? No, I hope my my body doesn't know that one either. Well, don't tell it. <laughs> Shh. It's listening. Shh. <laughs> and then this this was the the first one that I thought about. Um chainsaws were invented for childbirth. Did you know oh, that one? What? So, Google, I don't remember. There's like a thing I'm you're supposed gonna, to Google not, exactly. No, no. No. It it's, it doesn't like show them doing it, but it like shows the first chainsaw. And it was invented to cut like a woman's pelvis to help aid childbirth. Yeah, it's it's, it's a whole thing. But dude, like the the first the first the first fucking chainsaw, like the image of it is the most like. Is it like crank. hand cranked? Like they like do one of these? I think it like, is. Yeah. 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 Ah, the I next mean, one is. Oof. Oh, go ahead. I was just gonna say yeah, there was just, a, a long time running where. If you're given birth, you might live. Like that Go was for the best. Most of history, yeah. Mm -hmm. Glad Jesus take the wheel. Mm -hmm. 
or the chainsaw, I guess. Mm -hmm. The next one is, I once learned that the pain you feel when you get sunburn is actually your skin cells destroying themselves to prevent cancer. Ooh. I've had a lot of destruction in my life. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably a been borderline cancer patient. A lot. Call me Miley Cyrus because I'm a wrecking ball destruction, man. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, like I'm sitting in here. My my studio light might give me some sunburn. <laughs> it's so bright. And I'm so white. He's looking gradually a little more red each week. Fuck. <laughs> you should you should be good. Uh, it might just be a cancer well, light. I have to wait for that well, dude to come to my room and kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> You're that dude. Now, can you oh, kiss yeah. yourself? Yeah. Just kiss my hand. Okay. And oh, now you're there's my loophole. Cured? I don't have to kiss the kids on the lips. Like, I just take their hand and kiss their hand. There was no specification. Just kiss. Yeah, but no, but it's still weird though. Like you're. It's fine. Going room. It's fine. I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> Mark Johnson will take it. <laughs> uh, whew, okay uh speaking of kids the next one is a toddler's adult teeth are right below its eyes the x-ray is jarring to say the least and i didn't until i read this i never thought about that like they have their teeth and then the you you googling it yeah you said it's Send, a kid a kid oh oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's send me that so I could send me that so I could put it in here. So gross. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, I love that. Love every part of that. Ew. <laughs> is it is it coming in hot? It's gross. Hold on. Are you sending it? I'm trying to. Why can't I just paste the image, you dick? You can. It won't let me do it. There, I'm just gonna do that. I got a blank space. Just send me the URL. Just Google kids face x-ray and go to images. <laughs> Just send it to me. I'm waiting on it. All right. Yeah. I don't see it. <laughs> I'm just going to send you Just this whole site. There's like 30 Yeah, that's what I said. Just send me the URL. Do we know what that is? I'm just going to send you this link. That's what... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dangerousminds.net. That's it. Ooh. Blech. Is that the is the that thumbnail there, the whole... No, if you click on the URL, there's like big old... Just keep scrolling down. There's a bunch of them. Yeah. Ugh. What the... Ugh. We look like that at one point. Prove it. Anyways, this one's pretty good. I think you'll find this one be disturbed okay um nah it takes two nukes to get a country to make anime damn (laughs) it's two nukes (laughs) to get a country to make anime yeah but other countries besides japan make anime did they do it after oh yeah they weren't making anime in the 40s nobody was doing that right was american and who did it first though oh i see yeah you got okay but you could apply that to a lot of things. Like it takes two nukes to something else they did. Artificial vanilla can be produced from a beaver's anal gland. Ooh. That was my nickname in high school. Artificial vanilla. Oh, I thought you were gonna say beaver's anal gland. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was or about just to, anal gland. Anal, I was about to ask you to expound on that, but <laughs> And the last one, which I have uh some some additional content for this because i didn't believe it uh Mm -hmm. they used to send babies in the mail like a stork nope like u.s postal service next day (laughs) (sighs) you got express shipping on that or is that standard flat rate if it it fits we ship (laughs) (laughs) so i proceeded to call bullshit and then proceeded to google and yeah. I came yeah. to find that in 1913, when the U.S. Postal Service introduced parcel post service, customers took advantage by shipping their children. While you might envision putting a stamp on the baby and shoving him in the mail, that's not what happened. Oftentimes, the children sent via mail had a mailing label pinned to their clothing and were handed over to a mail carrier, often personally known by the family. 
Then the postal carrier brought the child along his route, either personally delivering the baby to the final destination or giving him or her to another carrier to complete the parcel delivery. Why do we need to ship a baby? That's my first question. Uh, I didn't copy the rest of it, but it said something that they, they had referenced like people news- adopting kids. No, no, they, they had referenced like a newspaper article. I guess some, whoever did it, the news was like, the fuck you doing, bro? And it was like some lady who wanted her kid to go see their grandmother, but she was unable to go or something like that. So she was like, Boop. <laughs> take this motherfucker. <laughs> How many stamps do I need for this? Yeah. He's uh, 32 pounds. Oh, okay, four, cool. Please. Four, okay. Yeah. Back when stamps were like a penny. That's wild. Yeah. So there's that. Damn. 1913, you said? That was 1913. Yeah, I don't know how long it lasted, but that's when it started. Yeah. It tracks Sorry. a little bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, fuck. I forgot to invert. And the fuck am I supposed to do? Gyrate. Invert and swirl. Can. Oh, swirl. Hmm. Well, I guess that's a good segue into what I'm drinking. What are you huh? drinking this week, David? Uh, yeah, well, something I'm supposed to invert and swirl before pouring mm-hmm. uh, by Energy City Brewing. And if you recall, that's the one I had, I think, a few weeks ago that said brewed and packaged for Energy City Brewing. Right. Somewhere in um, Illinois? Yeah, Itasca. Uh-huh. Look at that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I wonder if uh Mark if Johnson. Mark Johnson knows where that is. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually the company lawyer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's their uh their their legal aid. Yeah. Um it's called it's called Bistro Lemon Meringue Pie. Ooh. Let me see if I can pull up a fucking I love me a lemon meringue pie. Mm-hmm. Damn, that even looks good. It does, doesn't it? Mm. Damn, girl. I love lemon, and I love pie, and I don't know the definition of meringue. While I'm pouring this, do you want to get that for me? I would ask. I have I have this Alexa in here, but she's... How long have I lived here? Uh, What month is it? October. I'm she's glad you didn't plugged. ask me how to spell meringue. <laughs> there you go. Would not have got that U. I think I spelled meringue. <laughs> I, would not, like, I would not have got that you. <laughs> yeah, I got I got meringue pie here. Uh, meringue pie. Okay. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I've had this uh this fucking Alexa plugged in here for like ten months now, and like since I've plugged it in, fuck, I'm spilling everywhere. It's just like the light on it's been spinning. Yeah. So she's not she's not working. And I think I unplugged it and plugged it back in once. She keeps spinning. It's like every, every time you ask or any of us ask a question, I'm like, I want to just ask her, but she don't work. I think she's protesting. So there's only three ingredients in meringue. I just, I don't, I just, what's the definition? I knew it was something with eggs. It is egg whites, sugar, and cream of tartar. Tartar or tartar? Tartar. Tartar. No, tartar. Tartar is like uncooked, like meat, right? Like tuna tartar and beef tartar. And... I don't know. I'd ask Alexa, but she's just up there fucking spinning and I can't. So egg white sugar and tartar and you get meringue. But what? It, like, what is it? What is it? It's a creamy uh, thing. <laughs> the fucking thing is where I got damn mouth. If I'm a fucking Stuart Little. Define. Mer- How do I say Meringue. Mer- Meringue. An, an item of sweet food made by baking a mixture of stiffly beaten egg whites and sugar until crisp. Hmm. And it's healthy for you. So well, sort of. It's almost like a whipped cream. It's like... Uh, yeah, because you could just take heavy whipped cream, add sugar, and just beat the hell out of it. You get whipped cream. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just beat the hell out of it. Actually, it's use like whipped some cream heavy whipped eggs. cream. Literally, I use some today. For? Um, some homemade pasta sauce. Did you? 
<laughs> Did you beat the hell out of it? Dude, I, I was whisking for a good, like, two and a half minutes. My forearm is like... Yeah, it's probably not from whisking, though. Uh, <laughs> is it from kissing kids? Yeah, what kiss, the fuck kissing. Are you doing? <laughs> I was stroking these kids. Oh, I probably can't say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a uh, huh. Um, but man, it was it was so good. Anyways, uh, it's a fruited sour. It mm-hmm. says invert and swirl can as mm-hmm. I didn't do this one. I guess <laughs> I like this is best kept cold. Hmm, shocker! Like a, a suggestion? How bizarre! Do, do, do. We gonna do that every fucking episode? Do, 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 do. That's like <laughs> six now. Uh, anyways, uh, it's good. Let me let me get another one, dude. It's like a nine three. What? You would think about it. It's like, like you've had lemon meringue, like the yeah, pie. It's really good. Imagine like. That eating a slice, <laughs> eat, like eating a slice of it, like a piece of pizza, and then it's just like the the filling of it just liquefying down your throat. Mm. I really wish I would have found that one. I was looking for it, but I did not see it anywhere. Dude, it's so good. It might even be higher than that. I'm just nervous to. Damn. I'm going nine five. Damn, this is, it's fucking delicious, dude. Damn, I gotta find me some of that. Nine they actually five? had two there. So, you know when you go to Total Wine, like you probably go down the I aisle so. and there's like uh like the craft beer aisles probably set up the same well, as there's, mine. There's three spots I checked. There's the craft beer aisle, there's the craft beer aisle which is like the fours or six packs and then there's the individual aisle. Like and then there's the, So you have two separate aisles. Refrigerated. For yeah, there's one aisle that's all individuals and there's one aisle that's all more than one like the fours and six packs. Okay, but it, so it's the same aisle but there's a horizontal no. aisle separating it so there's one aisle for all the fours and six packs and it's double-sided yeah and then you got to go over out, over one and you got to pull down another one okay mm-hmm. so the no, way no, I- it's on the opposite side it's on the other side <clears throat> you got to yeah. go across so you, you got to come out hang a right go past one of the aisles and then go across the walkway in the middle to the single aisle okay so the way ours is set up you like go down the one aisle and it's like a lot of singles and then you keep what there's like a horizontal aisle but you keep walking straight down that same aisle and the first like one or two four foot sections is singles and then the rest of it is packs and okay. then and then at the end of that aisle is the back and that's where the refrigerated ones are but i was yeah, gonna say so the refrigerated's in the back too yeah yeah but at the end so at the end of that aisle so like you're standing at the edge of the aisle looking at the refrigerated mm-hmm like on your left there, that end cap, there was a whole bunch of sours. Like, mm. I don't know okay. if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I'll so, have to look. I don't remember. I I just I remember there was two lemon meringue ones. One of them was on that end cap. I don't think that's the one I got because this can looked better, or maybe it was because those were twelve and this was sixteen. And you mean not in the refrigerated, but right next to it. Yeah. So you come to the end of the aisle okay. and you're looking at the refrigerated. But on your left, like that end cap at the end of that aisle is mm. there was a whole bunch of See, sours. On the left next to the refrigeration is their door to the back. No, it's still on. Let me draw. Let me draw a picture for you. There's got to be a convenience. Or like before you walk down towards the refrigerator, you're just looking at it at the beginning of the aisle. I got you. Stand by. Do, 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 do. Oh, I broke my pen. All right. While you draw, I'll go over mine. So. Uh, I've got this week a strawberry shortcake sour from American Icon Brewery out of, oh, out of Vero Beach, Florida. Oh, I was going to say, that sounds familiar. Yeah, they're like 40 minutes away. Oh, cool. Um, dessert Dessert style sour ale brewed with strawberry puree, vanilla extract, and lactose. Keep refrigerated. Uh huh. Uh huh. Icons aren't born; they're <coughs> brewed. Oh. Mm. Um, and then it has a little seal on here that says "Best Florida Beer 2022 Championships." When you said it has a little seal on there, I thought you were gonna go. Da 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 <laughs> da da da. Or go. Arr, 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 arr. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's probably what my singing sounded like. <laughs> That's what his face looks like. Oh, right oh, well, okay. Good thing I edit these. <laughs> <laughs> well, they got the sour part right. Whew. Yeah? Man. Fuck her up, buttercup. Oh, man. Um, That's what he says to the kids before he kisses them. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Mark gonna be calling you. <sighs> I'm crying. Um, <laughs> so are they? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even do it. It's like an eight-two. It's decent. <laughs> like, I, the beer, the beer, really, the kids. <laughs> I can't really taste the strawberry. Like, uh, if I just drank it on its own, I wouldn't know. It's yeah. strawberry. So it's super thought, sour, but not super strawberry. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So what does it taste like? Because shortcake's not really a flavor. I mean, there is fruitiness to it. I guess that's the strawberry part. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no homo? <laughs> I can't do this right now. <laughs> uh. Uh, uh, oh, only a few more. Only a few more. We're good. Um, yeah, the cake part though, I don't get. So yeah, it's like a fruity, fruity uh, mm. strawberry. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, this, uh, so many, so many things. Can't mm. do it. I feel like we're both thinking the same. Oh, like we are thoughts telepathically, but we're like unable to. Uh, Speak them out loud. Might have to be the title of this episode. Just pucker up, buttercup. <laughs> let me let me write that down because I swear, like, we'll be recording shit, and I'm like, I have so many like thoughts throughout, and then I come back the next day to edit, and I'm like, what do we talk about? If that makes. Well, any you could sense. just title it for the kids. For the <laughs> no, yeah, okay, no, because yeah, every yeah. video I post <laughs> asked if it's like. For kids. Oh, age appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's there's age appropriate, and then there's four kids. Like it asks mm. me multiple things. Baby Are you ready for my uh, my uh, my art? <clears throat> um, Hopefully, it's up to your standards. My screen almost is. Hold on. Did you you write eight five? You said what'd you eight? Yeah, like an eight, eight two or three. Eight two. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's not going to end up as cleaning supplies. I thought no. I just thought it was going to be more like desserty. Hmm. It ain't. All right, let me let me see your picture before my screen goes black again. All right. Oh, it just went it just went black. It went. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> How often is this thing going fucking oh, in and out, dude? It goes in and out probably. It just went black again. Um, no, this, do I have tape? Probably four to five times a minute for like five <laughs> seconds. <laughs> and, and no part of that makes you go. Yeah, maybe I should just buy a new computer and. No, it's my monitor. It's right, but it's laptop. Pr it's probably the adapter going to it. Whereas if you just plugged your laptop in there, like you'd be good. Um, well, I spent a lot of money on this monitor for Call of Duty several years ago. If you remember that, <laughs> yeah, but you should spend a lot of money on the computer now. Yeah. Well, new Call of Duty coming out. We'll see. It's already out. I thought Andy just downloaded it. Call of Duty Six or Black Ops Six? I don't know. Not out he yet, just dude. downloaded something the other day. I was like, I'm, I was testing out gaming on that uh that new fucking behemoth of a TV, and he was on, and he sent me like two things. What did he send me? It was like some. He sent me something, and I sent something back, and then he sent like kisses. Like he just said kisses, and I responded mm. with hugs, and then like <laughs> ten minutes later, he was like. This is your gamer tag, right? <laughs> I was like, "You sending kisses to someone else, homie?" <laughs> like October twenty fifth, uh, Black Ops six. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know what the fuck he's playing. In. Is your screen? Yeah. Can you see this, David? I can't see I'm, shit. It's so blurry. <laughs> but your screen's on. Yeah, it's on. Okay. So yep. the, that that line up top oh, is the front of the like refrigerator. Behind you, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like okay. you're walking up this way. That's refrigerated. I've never looked at those. Would you call them the caps? It's called an end cap. Is it? 
I've worked in retail long enough to know yes. <laughs> you weren't at Best Buy that long. <laughs> We, I was there long enough to know all the stuff that was allegedly. No, you said you forgot it all when you went to the back. <laughs> oh, that was stuff for other people. I'm talking about the stuff. Yeah, for me. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. R.I.P. Eric's Best Buy career. We'll have to talk about that one time. Mark Mark Johnson would love to hear about that. We'll 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 see see him. Yeah. Well, I think the uh, statute of limitations is up, Eric. So you should be good. Granted, I was an accessory after the fact, so. That's right. All right, so the last thing I had was, um, what's the funniest thing you've done while drunk? Funniest? Or the most memorable or whatever you got. So to, I guess, give you some inspiration. Mm -hmm. I've done a lot of dumb shit. Yep. That's why I'm like. Yeah. The first thing that pops into my head is that time uh-huh. I got in a fight with your garage door? Yeah, that was a good one. And the the worst part was it was just me and you. Sorry, sorry, mom and Jamie, if you're listening. When they were out of town, you were just hanging out at the house. It was just me and you there. That's not true. It is. It's not. When that happened, and then no. people came over after. Mm-mm. It was just me and you in the basement drinking. No, it wasn't. Because you were staying. I remember you standing at the garage door like going into the house with someone laughing at me it may have been like a a DeBerry or a Joe or somebody but it was only like a couple of us it wasn't like we were having a party or anything well even at the end of the night there was like five of us it was whoever those three or four were and then Cameron and Sahan came right the ones oh it was the metro party night it wasn't a metro party night but that was the same night that uh, Cameron put me in like an arm bar like two yeah. weeks before I left for the military, and I was like, fuck, I can't feel my arm. Oh, we wrestled that night, too. That was just David was in aggression mode that night. I probably lost the garage door and went in my uh, retribution. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I know there's a lot, but that was like the first thing that came to mind. But I wanted <sighs> to know yours. Um. Maybe... So I had a couple puking on top of your kegerator was thinking about it. Pretty, <laughs> that's pretty not, that was not pretty, funny. Pretty funny. Uh, this motherfucker like I ran, walked past. I ran away from the bathroom. three ideal locations to vomit in and said, "Man, yeah, this looks good." Um, uh, the dog cone around my neck was pretty good. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. I'm trying to think of something where like I can just remember people like laughing or like. Something dumb happening. I can't. I'd have to think about that. I don't know. Off the top of my head, I can't. Mm. Aside from those two that stick out to me. Okay. Well, we'll we'll come back to it at a later episode. But the the thing that made me think about that is, I guess, what's the funniest thing you've ever seen someone do while drunk? Because mine is... Such a hard question. It's the easiest question in the world. You were there. Yeah. In fact, it was at your house. Yeah. Yep. Who was the person? Maybe that'll help. That, that no, that'll yeah, that'll help. Oh, it was yeah. So yeah, your ABCs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Do you want to tell me? You want me to tell him? Um, it don't matter. <laughs> I mean, so <laughs> we um <laughs> we've been drinking, um, and we asked oh, this that- young this young lady um. Well, no, 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 I think it was it was you. She, I think she that said ran she was okay to drive, and you were like, "Hey, they're trying to leave." And I yeah. was like, "You mean the drunkest people here?" And you're like, "Yeah." yeah. So I, it was I think me and Joe ran upstairs, and you were like, <laughs> and I was like, "You trying to leave? You're retarded." She said, I'm I'm good. I'm so fine. Just, All right, say your ABCs backwards, and do you want to reenact what this girl did? No, because I'll probably knock down my shell. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker turns around and goes with her back to us. <laughs> A, B, C, D. <laughs> and I said, you know what? That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. You can go. Yeah. yeah. May God be that, with you and have mercy like, on your soul. That's like, you ever seen that? It's a stupid little video. And like the guy walks in and she's like, you're drunk. And he's like, I am not drunk. She's like, can you tell the time? And like, there's a big clock next to him because it's like 3 a.m. And he goes, he looks at the clock and he goes, 
I am not drunk. <laughs> and he tells the time he's not drunk. <laughs> same thing. Same thing. So would that would that be yours? It would have to be. Again, if I think of something else, I'll let you know. But that would have to be it. I wouldn't even have come up with that. I forgot about that whole that Yeah, whole dude, I will never forget about that. That is like permanently ingrained in my soul. Hmm. Um, you're good. <laughs> yeah. Have a good so night. Yeah, by all means. <laughs> uh, don't. I don't even want you to let anybody know when you get home because if you get home, Jesus loves you. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know who Jesus doesn't love? Esports kids. Fuck them. Aw. Oh, long and hard. Eh, let's record that again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Except for esports kids <laughs> under the age of 18. <laughs> that may that may or not may not be at John Hopkins <laughs> University receiving um uh, life uh, life saving uh, treatment. <laughs> <laughs> Pucker up. <laughs> uh, how does an esports kid get a girlfriend? Um, either through Russia or China mail order service, or from the store down the street, and then he has to blow it up. R one, R two, square triangle, circle, left, right, <laughs> left, right, R two, R one. Yeah, that's right. You lonely bitch, die, die alone. Fuck him. My name is Bill. I got Buffett. So check me out. My name's Jolene. And I'm so pretty. So check me out. My name is Zelda. I got potato. Look at me. Hey, my name is Weevil. I got three legs. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. Ha, ha, ha.